Hi everyone, Gemma here. Thanks for watching today. So this video is a little bit different to normal. I'm just going to do a voiceover while you see me work through the process of making one of my samples for the major surprise launch. So what I'm doing here, I've cut the back circle of the display card and I've also cut a circle in some masking paper and I'm going to stick that down onto the circle um, to give the illusion of a moon and I'm going to ink blend the background. So I've just brought in the um, silhouette pieces here just to give me an idea of where I want to place the moon. And I'm going to ink blend with the Stress Oxides Salvage Patina, Seedless Preserves and Peacock Feathers. So I'm starting off with Salvage Patina and I'm working in a circular motion around the mask paper. Now I bring in the peacock feathers and again working in a circular motion around that masking paper. I go back and forth between the colours until I achieve the blend that I'm happy with. So I'm just using a piece of cardstock there just to um, hold the, the cardstock in place and not to get any fingerprints on the ink blended background. Then finally I come in with the seedless preserves and just um, ink blend around the bottom section of the circle. So the background is now complete and I'm just adding some water splatters to give the illusion of stars in the night sky. Next I work on the pieces that I've already pre-cut off camera. So I've got three panels there, two will be for the outside of the circle and the third will be for the base. So I'm just reinforcing the score lines and this should reduce any cracking in your cardstock. Next I'm going to work on the stand portion of the card and I just showed you there on camera it does go a little bit fast but there's two arrows pointing um, in the card stock to show you where to trim your piece. Next I'm adding some red liner tape and I'm adding it to both sides. Now I have constructed this a little bit different to Sam so if you want to check out her videos to see how she constructed hers then um, check out the Made to Surprise channel. So I've added a curve into the cardstock to help shape it for when we construct the stand. I've also trimmed off the tab section because I'm going to have the bottom open, which will house the, the lights that I use on the circular part of the card. And I've punched a hole there to feed the lights through. So I've just removed the red liner tape from one of the sides and I'm following the curve of the half oval shape to create the stand. Then I remove the red liner tape from the other side and add another piece of the half oval on the front there. So then that covers all the tabs up. So now the stand is constructed, I've brought in the fairy lights from Studio Light and I'm just unravelling them ready to feed through the hole that was punched. So I'm just checking that all the lights are working before I feed everything through. So 
I've reached the end of the lights and I've just added some foam adhesive to the back of the battery pack and then attaching that to the side panel of the stand. I'm next working on the second set of lights and again checking that they're working before I feed them through the hole and I'm just going to attach it again with some foam adhesive to the side of the stand. Next I'm going to work on the circular portion of the 3D card and stand. So I'm bringing in all the pieces that I need. So I have two side panels, two matte um, pieces in the glitter card stock, the ink blended background and an additional circle in the green card stock. So I'm just adding some red liner tape to the teeth on the two side panels. And next I'm just trimming one down to where the arrows indicate and add in red liner tape on that also. Next I'm adding a curve into the cardstock to help it shape into that circular form. Then I'm using quick grab glue and attaching both of the side panels together. Sorry, I'm slightly off camera there. Next, I remove the red liner tape from one of the side panels and then I start curving it around the ink blended background. Once I've curved it around the entire circle, I'm just adding some quick grab glue to the last tab and attaching those two side panels to together. Then I'm burnishing around the circle just to make sure I've got a good adhesion. And then um, I'm moving on to adding the silhouette pieces inside the circle. Next, I take the circle in the green cardstock and attach it to the back of the ink blended background. And then that's covered all of the tabs up so we've got a nice clean back panel. Next, I punch a hole in the bottom portion of the circle that will be attached to the stand. This hole will allow the lights to be fed through and we can wrap it around the circle then for decoration. So I just go ahead and start feeding both of the light strings through that hole so that I can attach the circle and the stand together. Then I'm using my hot glue gun to attach the circle and the stand together. So I'm just holding them in place, allowing the glue to dry. Once again, checking that the lights are working. And now I start to wrap the lights around the circle, attaching them to the side using hot glue. So I'm just working my way around the circle attaching it in small sections with the hot glue and I'll just keep wrapping it around until I come to the end of the light string. All the lights are now wrapped around the circle and I've just switched them on just to see if I'm happy with the placement. So I've added an additional silhouette fairy in the background Next, I'm adding the matte layers to the half oval shape there in the glitter cardstock. And I'm removing the red liner tape from the teeth section of the circle. And now I'm going to attach a frame to those teeth just to strengthen that piece up before adding the final circular frame 
onto the front of the card. So I'm just using some quick grab glue along the frame there in the teeth and attach the larger circle on the front to close everything up. Now this is where I start to play around with the decoration of all the different elements and I just start placing um, things down on the circle as a dry run and then if I'm happy I'm going to attach them permanently with the hot glue. So I'm just making my way around and attaching all the pieces now. So I've stamped my sentiment bugs and kisses and I've just attached that with some foam adhesive onto the half oval shape there and then I'm going to finish off the decoration around the sentiment. So all the decoration is now complete so I just switch the lights back on for the final time just so I can see the full effect of the card. I have to say I'm really pleased with how this one has turned out. It's such a whimsical card and I like all the bright colours and the blended background. I had so much fun creating this card. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, you might want to hit the like button, leave a comment or consider subscribing to the channel. All the products used in today's video will be listed in the description box below. Once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.